congregation allows its speakers to speak upon any topic they choose, as long as it's an idea worth spreading. That's why I'm here today, to speak about an idea that I think is very relevant during this time in our society, the idea of feminism. Feminism is a topic that has sparked much controversy in recent times. We are constantly being bombarded by people's different views and opinions regarding feminism. And due to this, many have the misconception that feminists are men-hating activists that think men are the cause of all problems in the world. This, miscon this misconception has led many people to create comments such as these. And slogans such as this. But in reality, feminism is the opposite to these misconceptions. According to Merriam-Webster, feminism is defined as the advocacy for women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Though this definition is very clear, many people tend to believe otherwise. Until recently, I was one of these people. Last year, I was in one of my classes called IB Leadership. In this class, we had dialogues almost every day about various social issues that were present in society. In the end, we had a final project in which we were required to do a presentation of some sort focusing on a specific social issue. One of my friends decided to do her project on feminism. She decided to create a video in which she posed the question, are you a feminist? During that time, I was unaware of what feminism was or what it actually meant. I had the impression that when someone said they were a feminist, they were an extreme activist of women's rights and had radical thoughts such as that women should take over the world and rule everything. And since I didn't support those thoughts, I didn't think of myself as a feminist. So when my friend asked me the question, I said, no, I am not a feminist. A few days later, we were required to present our presentations to the class, so my friend played her video. And while watching the video, I noticed two very distinct things. One, I was nowhere to be found in the video because she had cut me out of it. And two, that all my peers who were in the video said that, yes, I am a feminist. I was quite surprised at this response. How could these girls be feminists? I don't see them protesting for women's rights or saying radical things that women are superior to men. Why are they considering themselves a feminist? And that's when I began to do research and I finally learned what it truly meant to be one. You don't have to protest or have radical thoughts to be a feminist. Feminism simply means that you believe men and women should have equal rights, equal opportunities, and equal treatment. That is why today I am proud to say that yes, I am a feminist. But one thing I never did understand, even after all my research, is why feminism receives so much backlash from people. Even though there is nothing radical about feminism, it is a concept that is disliked and thought to be unnecessary by many. What I've realized is that we as a society are in a trance, that gender inequality does not exist, and therefore feminism is unnecessary. That's why so many people don't like gender don't like feminism. Many people consider that feminism is unnecessary because politically and socially, male and males and females are equal to each other as they have similar opportunities and similar liberties. Even if this was to be true, as it's currently not, the definition of feminism states the equality of the genders politically, socially, and economically. That is what we lack in our society today the economic equality between men and women, which is represented by the current gender wage gap that exists. On average, women, including all races, make 79 cents to every dollar that their white male counterpart makes. This graph shows the annual wages of males and females with varying levels of education, the dark gray representing males and the green representing females. And as you can see, 
no matter the level of education, males are always paid more than females. And as I research further into this topic, I learned that the wage gap drastically changes for women of color. When one looks at the gender wage gap, they notice that the average difference between the wages of a male and a female is a minuscule amount of just 21 cents. You can't even buy a gumball with that amount. But when this difference is applied to annual wages, that difference of a few cents becomes a difference of thousands of dollars. For example, take a male who makes an average of $80,000 a year. His female counterpart with the current gender wage gap that exists would make $63,200. That is an astounding difference of $16,800. Now to some, this may not seem like a lot, but we're not all millionaires. For millions of people, that $16,800 can change their life. Think about all the single mothers out there who not only have to fend for themselves, but for their children. That $16,800 can make a drastic impact in their life. Think about all the women who solely depend on their own income for their survival. That $16,800 can be life altering. Now you may be thinking why I, a sophomore in high school, am so passionate about the gender wage gap. I have no work experience, nor will I for the next few years. So why care about it now? I care about it because taking a trip into my future will tell you. As of now, I have currently two years left of high school. And to many, this is a sign of relief, as they think, oh, two years and I'll be finished. But for me, this erupts a feeling of fear. Fear because I have just two years to prove myself as an excelling student and create an amazing resume to send to colleges so I can be accepted by the best one. I am currently doing everything in my capability to make this amazing resume. Joining various clubs and holding leadership positions in them, playing multiple sports, working really hard to maintain a perfect GPA and balancing all of that along with my social life. I am putting all this effort so that I can get accepted into the best college possible at the end of those two years, go to that college and receive the best education so I can prepare myself for the rigorous workforce. So that in the future, I can live a life of happiness and financial security. But what I have realized is that no matter how much effort I put in these two years or in my future, no matter how much I prepare myself, I will always make less than my male counterpart due to the gender wage gap. All those years of effort will just go to waste. That is why I am so passionate about the gender wage gap, because I don't want my effort, or the effort of any girl for that matter, to go to waste. Gender wage gap has existed in our society for the last 50 years, and it will continue to do so, unless we take an initiative as a society to fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. If you ask any of my friends, teachers, or counselors to describe me as a person, aside from telling you how intelligent and humorous I am, they'll tell you that I have a very distinct characteristic that I have a very loud and powerful voice, which is currently not working right now. Growing up, I was often teased for this voice because everyone would say, oh, you're so loud, I can't tell you anything. And I would feel bad about myself for it. But recently, I've begun to realize what a boon my voice really is. Because I realize that it is through my voice I'm able to convey my thoughts and firmly speak my mind and actually create a change. Now I'm telling you this absurd fact about myself because all of you possess a voice, a voice you can use to create a change. And in my belief, that is the solution to ending gender inequality and gender wage gap. A collective voice of all members of society 
elucidating the disadvantage that gender wage debt possesses, poses, not only to women in the workforce, but to women overall. I believe that if we use our voice and educate the public about the damages gender wage gap can put on society, we can convince people to change their ways and make wage equality a quintessential American ideal. In doing so, we can put an end to gender wage gap and gender inequality overall and make America a truly equal place. Thank you.